jumping on the bandwagon, y'all. So get ready. What is up, everyone? How you doing? So, yeah, we're gonna jump on that bandwagon. We're gonna go King Nero. <laughs> Kidding. I'm not gonna go dank memes, yo. Um, but I was, I was looking at something the other day, and if you don't know who he is, um, what rock are you under? Snowcat and King Nero and like the whole fucking YouTube drama bullshit thing of like, ah! Somebody made a meme of my face and now I'm super angry. Oh, who gives a shit, man? Like, I don't show my face. I'm not gonna show my face. Never in my, like, YouTube career am I gonna be like, ah, face reveal, yeah, look at me. Mm, no, fuck that, I don't give a shit. You don't need to know what I look like. You need, like, you either need to be turned on by my voice or like me for my personality. I'm like a fat girl. I'm gonna scratch that out. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but anyways, Snowcat obviously shows his face and he has a blog channel and everything. And if you're living under a rock the other day, he basically like, he has some YouTube beef with all the SoCal guys for whatever fucking reason, who knows. And um, the other day he went on someone's stream, like live stream, and was like, yeah, well, I've got face reveals of Sub D and Baker X Derek and all the people, like, you know, all the guys that just don't show their, or Arson Rides and all them shit. Like, all the guys from South Carol or South Carolina, SoCal, that just don't show their face. Like, it's a preference thing, you know? Some people don't want to show their face because they do wheelies and speed everywhere, and other people, like me, I just, I don't give a shit. You don't need to see my face. And so let's see if they wave. Anyone? Anyone? One. One out of three. Okay. One out of four. But the other day, he basically went on and said, like, fuck these guys. Like, fuck you, Sub D, for letting me use your motorcycle and crash it. I mean, I've got face reveals for all these people that I could post up and be a dick. And of course, that's never a good thing to do in a community of people, like, that already have problems with him for whatever fucking reason does. And then the other day, so this guy, Maddie Cycles, uh, I think that's Maddie Cycles. I'll link his channel below. He um, he made a video and he like, video, <laughs> he does YouTube news and a bunch of stuff like that. And he like, he used some of Snowcat's video. Oh no, a 10 second clip of your fucking video got used and someone maybe made some money off of it. Wah. Wah. So, he made a video about the whole drama thing and I guess Snowclat, Snowclat, Snowcat copyrighted it. Just like, I can understand if you take someone's whole video and you upload it as your own, like, you know, a crash video or something, or one of the stupid compilation channels that has like, 400,000 views a video because they literally just use everyone else's content like that make that I understand But like this guy who just used like a 10 second clip or whatever of off of something that you posted on YouTube and you're fucking like That's my baby. You can't touch that Anyways, so he posted the video well shit's hot open my vents, yo. And I guess Snowcat's copyright, Snowcat's, Snowcat copyright claimed it, and so it got taken down. And it wasn't even like bashing him, it was just like, it was a factual, not super like, biased one way or the other, but a factual, bike week, video. You wanna fucking get in your lane, bitch? About what was going on and blah, blah, blah. Perfectly fine. I can understand if he was like, he used your content and you started bashing and then he could be pissed, but... Anyways, so that got... Copyright striked and taken down and, you know, YouTube bullshit happens from it and... If you know anything about YouTube, once you start getting copyright strikes, you're, you're not doing too well, like... 
especially if you're doing YouTube to like make money or if you're making money off YouTube, once you get a copyright strike, you start getting fucked a little bit. Like, they don't like that shit very much. But, so, that's the drama now, and of course, like, the whole King Nero thing, if you don't know who he is, he start, he made, like, he makes a shit ton of sloth cat memes. Look it up, like, you're on the internet, you can look up shit for yourself. You're not, you can't be lazy. You can't blame being lazy. Or you can blame being lazy, but, like, it sucks. Where are you going, truck? So that happened. And now everyone, you know, is pissed off at Snowcat again because he's like, well, blah, 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 this is my life. I'm trying to get a thing with Mercedes and shit. And no one gives a fuck. Like, <laughs> if you're going to be a dick, you can't be a dick saying that, like, oh, I'm trying to make money off of this. Like, everyone's trying to make money on YouTube. Like, no one just does YouTube for the fuck all of it at, at this point. And that's a lie. Obviously, there's some people that just upload shit because they like it, but... You know, if you do upload seriously, if you monetize your videos and shit, like, you are trying to make money. You're not just doing it for the fun of, like, producing shit. They just fucking close. Grapone. Grapone. Since 1925. Holy shit's hot. That car has a bunch of shit on its front window. That's really cool. <sighs> oh, it's so hot. All my vents are open. I'm still hot. But anyway, so like... That's the new YouTube drama. And I just think it's funny, like... I understand people using your shit is, like, not cool. If you done, if it's done in a bad way, like... If it's done to bash you or something... Fine, but not if it's done in a way that's, like, factual and... Just, like... I don't want to say reporting, because... I mean, I guess it is a motovlogger news thing, but... You know, he didn't say like, ah, oh, look at this fucking douchebag snowcat, ha ha, here's some video of him crashing, lol, he sucks, lol, 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 no, he was like, da da da, here's what I think happened, and so on and so forth. And then the guy was like, hey, you use my content, blah blah, and then, if you look on Twitter, he was like, tweeting about it like, oh, people need to learn the difference between fair use and copyrighted and this shit, and basically bashing the guy for using like 10 seconds worth of a video clip. No bueno. No, no, no bueno. Ooh. It's like the second. Uh. Cute puppies. Oh, there's multiple of them. <gasps> Gas went down, sick. Oh, look, another getting ice cream. That'd be so sweet. I'd buy a puppy ice cream.
Ja, ja. 